Welcome back to Glam and Fab. Today we're going to be doing a zombie tutorial on Reyna for our Halloween series. And there's a couple of things that I would like to discuss before getting started. The first thing is you don't want to use your expensive makeup brushes because you are going to be using liquid latex and you don't want to be messing up your expensive brushes. So you can get brushes for like a dollar, three dollars at Target and they can be like, Elf is probably like a good brand of brushes too. So you'll get like a quality for cheap and then you won't need to mess up your other makeup brushes. And another thing is you don't want to wear expensive clothing either. So I suggest you put a towel over like Reyna will be doing. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with this zombie tutorial. The first thing you want to do is apply white face paint all over. You can also mix your foundation and white face paint if you don't want to look that pale. Raven already had makeup on, so she didn't come out that white. But you can do whatever you want because this is a free country anyway, so. You just want to blend that all throughout. Next you want to contour your face with black eyeshadow so on the hollow of your cheeks, your temples, and the size of your nose you apply black eyeshadow and just blend that all throughout. Next, you want to apply red eyeshadow on your lids. And black and purple eyeshadows underneath your eyes. So you can make your eyes look super dramatic. And it looks like you haven't slept in like a decade or something. And blend that all around. And do the same onto the other eye. Next, you want to place liquid latex where you want your wounds to be. You can also use school glue if you don't have liquid latex. And you just apply toilet paper or tissue or whatever you have works fine and you're just gonna layer toilet paper and then let it dry and then add another layer of liquid latex and then add more toilet paper just so you can get that texture of skin onto your face because then you're gonna just make holes onto it and you you can use either red face paint or lipstick and cover the whole thing. After that, you want to open the wound. I let Raina do it because I didn't want to hurt her. And you're just gonna add purple eyeshadows to give it more depth and black eyeshadow inside the wound. As you can tell, it's already falling off because you didn't let it dry because, you know, time. It takes a lot of time to do this. Again, you can use red face paint or just red lipstick and apply it all over. And it's basically all about blending at this point. You just want to blend those purple shadows, some red shadows, and some black shadows. I think in this one it didn't come out as good because 
you can still see the white toilet paper. But you know, you, you live and you learn. I should have put more blood. Learn from my mistakes. And after you just apply blood, you're just about done. Actually, you are done. So this is the final look for an everyday makeup tutorial. I suggest you guys wear this to school, work, your wedding, you know, your sweet 16, your prom, homecoming. <laughs> no, but I really like how it turned out. How about, how about you, Rita? I really like how it came out, too. Alright, thank you guys for watching this zombie makeup tutorial look. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for any video ideas. So we'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye!